Hello. So today we are going to work on finishing up this journal. I've decided it's time to just get done with it. So that's what we're going to do. I want to add something to this page just to give it a little feel. So we're just going to add this tiny little flower right here. There we go. And I was thinking I'm going to open up one of my graphite pencils here. I have a whole pack of them. They're just graphite, I think. There's some kind of pencil. And I was just going to add just a little something here. <coughs> just doodle. To give it a little bit more of a look to it instead of having it look all the same. Maybe. make it look a little unique and I'm just doing this little doodle there we go just a little doodle around it give it a little something I kind of really like the idea of this tuck being right next to this page, so that's what I'm going to do. Or should I make it a pocket? I think it would look better as a tuck, honestly. Sorry about the banging, but... I'm allowing some fresh air into my apartment here. Have my door open. And this one I'm just going to add here. I am not going to think about this as much. I'm just going to stick them in and then I'm going to stick in my pocket pockets later on into this. But I did want to pick out one of these quick. that somewhere. I bought myself a little die cut here. Figured it'd look great on one of these pages. Just fill her up with a bunch of stuff. I think this one page will work. There we go. And then when we get to the small stuff, I have a place for it. And we go to put it down. But for right now, 
I'm not going to be sticking my small stuff down yet. I love this little pocket. And I think it'll look extra nice in this spot. So, there we go. I know I have several pockets and tucks and everything, so. Just thinking. All depends on what I want. Yeah, I like that because it brings out the blue in the other one here. But maybe our little thing here would be better suited. I think it would. Okay. So I need to get a paper clip for this one. Where did I stick my paper clips? <coughs> oh. I'm readjusting, so I'm not sure how I'm keeping things just yet. As far as what's needed and what isn't where. So. Excuse my mess, but. Oh, I have my one jumbo paper clip. See? One jumbo paper clip. <laughs> there we go. I'm hoping that will make it stay. This one would be good in a tuck spot. This one I'm just going to glue on. And remember, I live in an apartment, so... You're going to hear people. We like it or not, we hear people moving around outside. There we go. I don't think we've even made it to the middle yet. Maybe I added way more to this than I thought I did. Yeah, I don't have enough pockets. That's okay. We'll get there. I have more of these that I could add to it and all that, so. Not a big deal. Yeah, we just hit the middle. And in the middle one, I want to stick this. Mm 
into a page and clip it. I may have to clip it twice, but still. Our little flip out that we made together. So I'm definitely going to have to make more pockets. <laughs> Which is fine. Now we'll go back through this and add some of our tags and stuff to it and see what happens. Kind of like this red theme that's going across here, so. Let's just stick with it. Mm. All right. That definitely ain't gonna work. But, would this work in here? Yes, it would. Maybe. Yeah, it would. So I'll stick that in there. We'll do our tinies in a little bit. I just want to get through some of these non-tiny ones. all these tiny things here and I can add more tiny things so I'm not too worried about using too many tinies here there we go no I like that the way it is Maybe add a little something here. There. I like that.
little pry lip here. I really like this in this one. Like that. But this one's more, not a pocket, more like a tag type ordeal. So, I'm going to grab one of these and just do a quick shade on and make it a little tuck here. add to our pages because we definitely need more pockets. But I don't want to spend a whole lot of time making them so we're going to use some of these pre-made pockets here. I just need to add a little here there we go I think that looks pretty good and then we want something on it the front of it area that can make it look part of this, so we're just going to do this. There. This is what I want to stick in this first part here. And then we have other pieces we can add, be adding to it. This is a quadruple pocket, but this one's going to be too long. Or too much this way. But we can do a quick fix on that, I think. I don't do this very often, but I'll move on. <laughs> it's what I normally do. But I want to have this, so we're going to do it this way. We're going to go to this side, and we're just going to shave off a little bit here and then we're going to go to this side I'm just going to use this as a point here shave that off and that should be long enough I know it ain't perfect but I don't really want it to be perfect. If I wanted perfection, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> there we go. So I got like three things on here. And I was also thinking maybe something like this at this edge here. Yeah.
there. All right. Now let's stick this in our book. I really want this to stay and why not use Fabri-Tac? There we go. Again, I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac with this. I'm just going to do a binder thing here. Then I'm going to take easy access here. We're just going to take this. it on here. I'm just going to glue it on there quick. And we made really easy writing space. And then I'm just going to cut this off. Cut this edge off. There we go. And I leave every scrap on here. I have these cute little postage stamps and I kind of want to add that to it. But I want to add piece of this too. I know I'm kind of like throwing it all out loud what I'm doing, what I'm thinking.
there. So just a cute little writing space, junk journaling card is what some people call it. We just stick it right in here. And this way we can still see our cute little thing here. Again, I'm just trying to fill this up a little. Ooh, I really like this, so I'm going to add that. And then we're going to find ourselves maybe a cute little pocket to stick it in. Yeah. So I'm going to grab this again and quickly ink it up. Just gonna quickly ink up this part. Make it look like it's supposed to look like this. Alright, and then I'm going to take this. I want across here for sure. But I'm thinking. Maybe use up some of this here. So. That's what I'm going to do. Just right on the top here. We're going to quickly take some fabric tack glue this on, then we're going to take some more fabric tack here, and we're going to glue this on like this. And then we're going to take one of these beautiful looking tag things here. And we're going to stick that like this. There we go. Now, I'm going to close this up quick. And I'm going to take my handy dandy crack dial here. And we're going to punch it through. I'm going to stick it back up there. I know I want this to be a part of it, so I'm just going to stick this on here, or through here, so it's already ready to go when we're through this part. There. And then, thinking I'm going to stick one of these on here. Yeah, I think that would be cool, actually, to glue this directly on here. So, I'm going to set this in the page so I know where it's at, what page we're working on. Then I'm going to take this, and we're going to just rip this itty bitty bit off here. We're going to glue this on. And again, I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac quick. Just 
just makes it easier sometimes. And then we're going to stick this somewhere up here with, again, a little bit of this stuff. It goes a long way. And yeah, I am kind of trying to use this stuff up just because I can. There. So we got our nice little tag. I'm going to add some journaling space here. So I'm going to try grabbing some coffee dyed paper here that I've had. This one I'm going to use the glitter glue. And I don't feel like I have to use the finger method in order to not have issues. There we go. So we got our little tag here and we're going to make a small tag out of this one quick. Our journaling space. says confident. So got that. Now we can put this together. Onto this page.
And I kind of lined it up with this line just because it was already there. Why not, right? There we go. Now, I'm going to take this and depending on if I have do this. And this just adds a little charm to it. And I'm going to use this thing. It has a smaller hole punch here. I'm just going to stick it right where I need it. And we're going to get this figured out. Oh, got it. All right. So the cute little thing to go right in there. All right. We want one more of these cute little tucks here. We're going to add this one right here, and we're just going to make a quick thing here, and we'll be done. Add another layer to it. We're gonna do this. Use up some of this paper too. I gotta use Fabricac with this though. right here there cute little thing to tuck in here I'm just trying to use up some of the stuff that we have accumulated for these last few pages. 
So we're going to make some journaling space quick. I'm shaking. Lovely. I don't like shaking. All right, this side. this again. I'm try putting it right at the top here. Get a cute little tag. All right. I like it better this way. So we're just going to do it the opposite way. I'm right handed, so everything ends up being more geared towards the right for some reason. I don't try to do it on purpose, but I do it. And I know I do it. Sorry if I'm a little quiet today. I'm not trying to be quiet. I'm trying to talk. There we go. Yeah, just a cute little journaling area. That's all I was trying to do. My loud neighbors from upstairs, gotta love them. There, all done. Now I wanna stick something, like a pocket here or something, where I can put all the scraps that I have some of the scraps that I have.
two, two, and two. Oh, gotta love it when you sneeze, right? And I'm just gonna add this pocket in here, or tuck slash pocket, for the little bit of scraps that are left over, and my business card and all that. So then, whoever gets this will have tons of things to use, depending on what he or she may want. I mean, there ain't much scraps left. And then I'm going to also add this little bit, there ain't much left to it because I used it for most of this. I think it belongs with the book. So that's that. And I'm going to find a piece of lace and we'll go through it one last time. I was buying my lace off, oops, off of Ally Express for a long time there. No, I don't really do that, but. I did at one point when I found out what they were doing to people on Etsy, I kind of quit. So, this is definitely bulky. <laughs> Definite bulk here. But this is how it will end at the end look. I think it's beautiful. So let me put this back on it and we'll do a quick walk through and see if there's any little additions we need to add to it or what. But I think overall we got it done. So I'm going to open her up and our first page with our little sticker, our second page, tag, cute little journaling card, another cute little journaling card and a tag type thing. Then we have another tag, a journaling card and another tag. music paper and then our five things here and actually I want to do add three more to it so because I have a couple tags left on here and I kind of just want to use them up let's not waste these cute little tag things and then I can definitely say I used as much as I possibly could out of these. One and two. There we go. And again, I'm just trying to use up these stickers because I don't want to waste them at all. We can just stick them in there. Might as well. One,
two. We're just cutting around this. I know it's a lot of fussy cutting, but three. And then we're going to use this one more time. Sorry about the swearing. Again, I have upstairs neighbors that don't sometimes pay attention that they have neighbors. Either that or they just don't care, I don't know. All I do know is they make my life hell. I haven't been outside, like outside, outside in months and my entire porch is full of their garbage and that's somehow my fault you know I kind of like this one going down there and this one right there that one there there now it's definitely loaded <laughs> all right and I think that was we'll do our walkthrough video separate I think but I wanted to, again, I knew there was spots for them stickers. I just didn't know where it was at. So, we'll do our walkthrough video next. Bye.